Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. So how do you do scientific notation on a TI inspired calculator? So I want you to make a note here. So I have two different problems. I have a multiplication problem here and a division problem here. So I've got my TI cast calculator on right here. I want to get to the main screen, the, the calculation screen. And this really, really important thing. I'm going to type in the number, what, 3.2. But a lot of people want to push this times 10 to the power button right here. You see this right here. And that is not correct. This times 10 to the power button is not what you want to push. Down here we have this double E button. So watch what I push. I push the E button. It, it, it prints, as you can see there, E. Now E means times 10 to the power, and I just say E5. And then I'm going to times that by, watch what I do, 8.3 double E. I know it prints an E, but the double E, and then I'll say negative 5. And then enter. And it gives me, now this these answer, by the way, this is 5 and negative 5. It gives me a regular number. This is just going to be 26.56. Now, in chemistry land, we understand this is two significant digits and two significant digits, so we're going to round to the just to second digit. So this answer would be 27. Let's do this next one here. So I have, I have a division problem, right? But I'm gonna type in 6.02. What do you push? Double E, double E. Do not push 10 to the X, do not push 10 to the X. Double E, uh, 23, divided by 1.03, double E, negative one. You see how I did that? And I get this number, 5.8446. Six, six times 10 to the 24th. Now, it says E24, and so I quickly realized that E means times 10 to the power. Now, from a significant figure perspective, there's three here and three here, so we're just gonna say 5.84 times 10 to the 24th. If you're trying to type this into a, a computer, you would write that as 5.84 E4. These two numbers are the same.